Welcome back to Good Morning Sunday River. I'm Matt Stagliano. I'm joined today by Deb Maxfield, the Marketing and Development Director at Main Adaptive. Welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Did I get the title right? You did. It's a long one. It's, it, is, it rolls right off the tongue. It's easier than some, I think. So Main Adaptive is an amazing organization, mm -hmm. large nonprofit that takes an insane amount of money, I'm sure, to run on a yearly basis, given all the people that you have involved. Mm -hmm. How do you raise all of that cash? Yeah, so we have a number of avenues for which the money comes in. Um, and one of those are, are, or many of those are major events. So we have an annual ski-a-thon. That event happens here at Sunday River. We've been fortunate to be able to host that event here for the last 31 years. Mm -hmm. um, it happens usually in the third week of March. And it's a huge uh, event. It's a major event. Yeah. Over 600 people come. Um, usually folks raise money through teams. So mm -hmm. you have a team of five people. You fundraise. Uh, we hope that people will raise a minimum, but you know we really don't cap it or right. create the minimum. It's all about the experience and the celebration. But generally, through sponsorships and, and individuals that are participating in teams, we generate about 50% of our annual operating income. So it's a pretty significant chunk of what we need to deliver our services and to continue to allow our programs to be provided at no cost to our participants. So that's a big deal. Yeah, the ski -a I know a lot of people around here really look forward to it. Um, it's a big event every year. You know, the donations really start to flow in. As soon as people hear about it right you know it's not just a, a last minute effort people are donating constantly correct and and we really promote it year-round so right. we have two major sort of participatory fundraisers that we have we have the ski a -thon, which is really mm -hmm. focused in the winter and it's what we call our annual celebration and and that's going on now right. um, we also have started a smaller initiative in the summer or the sort of spring summer months which we call team main adaptive and really that's fundraising and fundraising through other local events. So we partner okay. with folks from the Bicycle Coalition of Maine for their lobster ride and their women's ride. We partner with other walks and runs and allow our participants and our volunteers to come together as a community and raise awareness by participating in these other events mm -hmm. and also encourage them to raise funds for Maine Adaptive. So we may be raising money for the Cancer Society, but we're also asking them to raise money for Maine Adaptive right. in concert with that. So it's a great way to generate friend raisers and, uh, and opportunities to create more visibility for the program. And it allows us to sort of highlight our summer program as well, because we do operate year round. And so a lot of people think of us on mountain and on slopes, which is great. And that's one of the reasons we have such a strong following for the ski-a-thon. But Team Maine Adaptive, I think, is giving us a chance to touch other communities and other demographics um, and, and help more people realize that there are opportunities year round. Yeah, I think that's one of the, the big things that when we start talking about Maine Adaptive, that folks that come up, especially in, during the winter, tend to think about it just being a winter organization right. because that's what they see on the mountain. But realizing that you do run year round, mm -hmm. that it's not just Sunday River, you're, you're all over Maine. And the impact that you're having is far reaching across New England and, right. and, and the rest of the country as well. So um, it's an amazing organization. So you have how many volunteers working for you? Well, we have about 400 volunteers that work with our year-round program. A bulk of them, obviously, in the winter, just right. because our program capacity is a little bit more significant in the winter. But we're experiencing significant growth in the summer programs as well. We've launched some new initiatives. Uh, we've launched a wheelchair tennis program down at Pineland Farms in right. New Gloucester. Yeah. And that has really generated a lot of interest. Um, we are continuing to grow our paddling program and our cycling program. And again, that's where Team Maine Adaptive is allowing us to do even more promotion because we're able to showcase that um, folks of all ranges of abilities can can cycle in all of these right. everyday activities and you can do it as a family and you can do it with your loved ones and, and I think that's a big opportunity for us. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to see the families get involved as well. So it's not just the participants or right. the, the, the folks that are that are out on the slopes or they're playing tennis, just the families get together and you're starting to build this this really tight knit community. And that, I think that's one of the, the benefits that folks don't necessarily see up front from, right. from the outside, but when you're in the community, it really does tie everything together. And the stories that everybody has are just yeah. so incredible. I mean, the, the families and the parents talking about their kids and the kids talking about the parents. And, right. and I mean, we had one experience uh, uh, last winter, actually, where an individual came and said, you know, my son is typically in a, in a bucket, you know, he can't ski mm -hmm. on his own, but, you know, could I borrow a piece of, could we borrow a piece of equipment so that he could ski with the family? And there was 15 of them. I mean, it was really pretty unbelievable. And we had an opportunity where we could 
you know, loan him a piece of equipment for a run. And uh, none of the family members knew that, that this young five-year-old was going to be able to go out on the slopes. And so they were all out skiing and doing their thing. And dad came in and, and Henry was his name. And, and, you know, they got to go out and um, they came back in the rush that they all had because Henry got to go skiing with his cousins <laughs> and his siblings was really a big deal. And it was such a simple act of kindness, but it made such an impact on, on their day and their week, which, I mean, you know, it was fun to be part of. Yeah, that's great. So anybody can get involved. Absolutely. Where can they find out more information? They can go to our website. There's a section on our website, www.mainadaptive.org, but there's a section that's uh, fundraisers, and it talks about the various fundraising opportunities mm -hmm. as well as special events that are happening in the organization. Um, we also have, uh, in addition to the Ski-a-thon and Team Main Adaptive, we do host sort of smaller gala type events. But Sugarloaf, we have uh, the Sugarloaf Social. That generally is in the first Saturday of every in March. Mm -hmm. um, this is the seventh year for that. Um, and again, it's an annual event where folks from the community come together and, and just sort of celebrate the program up there. Uh, because again, we do operate a winter program there as well. But donations come in year round regardless of the all event. all the time. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a good thing. Uh, you know, and certainly we're also busy with, you know, doing collaborations and grants sure. writing and uh, we look for corporate sponsors as well. So the typical nonprofit things, but right. the special things that are unique, uh, I think, to Made Adaptive are our sort of one-on-one -on -one events. Sure. Gives people a chance to, to really interact. Right. Great. Well, listen, if you're looking for any information on Maine Adaptive, please check them out online. Deb, thank you for stopping thank by you. today. And we'll be right back after this.